Glad you're okay. Oh, Jeff Davis here with you. Welcome to the program. Tonight, I want to speak with you about our nation's unprecedented response to the coronavirus outbreak that started in China and is now spreading throughout the world. Today, the World Health Organization officially announced that this is a global pandemic. Gina Carano's Cara Dune won't return for future seasons of the Pedro Pascal-led series The Mandalorian, or for any other Star Wars project for that matter. So, in my opinion, was it not a good post? Yeah, absolutely. She shouldn't have shared that. But I don't think exactly what she's being called out and canceled for is really what uh, her purpose was, in my opinion. Wait for season. 
and foe. I thought in the meantime that it might be fun to read every comic and book in what I call the Stranger Danger Book Club. Stranger Danger Book Club ah, Book Club ah, Stranger Danger Book Club Stranger Things fans, I want to thank you for continuing to subscribe and listen to this podcast. I want to take a quick moment to tell you how I make this podcast. I use a tool called Anchor. And if you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. Number one, it's free. That's pretty awesome right there. But number two, there are creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer, okay? Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, basically anywhere podcasts are available. Have I mentioned again that it's free? Oh, and you can actually make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast. Oh, and one more time, it's free. Download the free Anchor app right now or go to anchor.fm to get started. You could have a podcast tonight. Hey guys, welcome back to Anycast. In today's episode, we will be talking about the loss of Oswald the Lucky Rabbit and who he is in the first place. Stick around until the end so you can hear me review in detail his first cartoon. With all that said, let's look at Oswald the Lucky Rabbit.
How are you, man? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing good. All right. Uh, how's uh, the scooter accident going? Oh, my God. Well, it is. It's my hand is feeling a little bit better, but it's like still sore. Yeah. My arm. It doesn't really hurt anymore. But I can like, you like kind of like still feel like the sh- like the stress on it a little bit. But I'm not really gonna force myself to do anything I can't do. Yeah. Well, I think that um, you know, just uh, get a bike and. Yeah. Kid. <laughs> that that's that's the plan. Hopefully, I get one by the end of this month. Yeah, that really does suck, though. Um, I'm just glad nobody saw me. I like I looked around <laughs> when I got up, and I was like, "There's no cars. It's the way on the sidewalk." But somebody could be looking through their window right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't even give my chance. I mean, I didn't give me uh, any time to cup co- to recover. I just like got up and kept going, like nothing happened. Yeah. I was like, I'll be yeah. fine. Yeah. It's the evil scooters, you know? Yeah. Man. All right. So, welcome to AnyCast. Um, thanks for coming on. Um, you're my first guest actually on. Oh, man. So, that's pretty, yeah, that's pretty cool. I think that's one first, too. Uh, so, it'll be <laughs> oh, my heart. Monday. Uh, I'm scared. Yeah. Welcome on back, everybody, to AnyCast uh, videos. Today was supposed to be the debut of my movie, Indoor Order. But I have some bad news and good news. So when I was in the editing room and uh, like looking over the stuff, what we had as finished product and all that, I was looking at it and I realized that I did not want, I did not like it. I didn't like the finished product. As you can see in the trailer, there's literally moments that I couldn't even fix where the uh, like camera was too zoomed out or too zoomed in. That was other stuff with the zoomed in. I don't think it was on the trailer, but the zoomed out definitely was on the trailer. And so I was looking at this stuff and um i go to a youth group and i'm talking to my director and uh he asks me it's like hey if you want we can reshoot scenes and all this like you cut out a lot of story and dialogue and i i wrote the script and all of it and i was doing the edit and i made the music tracks it was all good to go but everything, there, there was a lot of things that felt off. And it was not the finished product I wanted. So today, as you'll see in the, as you've already seen with the um, episode title or video title, today is a very amazing interview that I actually recorded. Uh, but before I get into that, let me explain what the plan for this film is. So I, I, I just said, we're going to hold it off. We're not going to release it for probably six months. It probably will not come out until 2023. Now, I say 2023 for a lot of different reasons. One of which, one of my main actors, uh, he is not going to be nearby us for three months and that's that's a huge time gap right and that three months is summer for me and as much as i'd love to film in summer and as much as if like he didn't go there we might have been able to release it in like september 
but it's okay because I can film some other things without him in summer, write my script and all this stuff and re go through it. Um, I was already polishing up some of it. Um, but the good news, I guess, of this is not only the envision for this was a trilogy, the order trilogy is what I was going to call it. We had Endor Order and we have Dark Orders. And then probably I would name it like the third one, New Order or uh, Final Order, something, something with order. I was going to make the Order Trilogy and I was going to have me uh, be in it as the main character, uh, kind of, well, actually, it, it's complicated. Yeah, me as main character, I guess, and then my buddy, uh, co-host Isaiah, you know, as a second main character. And I, since I'm holding it off, I realized that I can actually combine parts one and two, end order and dark orders together to actually make a cinematic film. Uh, this film, I anticipated the first part to be about 20 minutes. It came out to about 10. But while writing the script and everything and going back to reshoot the first film, it'll actually probably be 20 with all the things I want. Plus, we will probably get a 40 to 45 minute film for part two. So I'll just throw it in as a giant cinematic masterpiece. The best that I can get to a cinematic masterpiece. And so if I were you, I would count on the movie probably coming out like Christmas this year, literally Christmas Day, or if anything, New Year's Eve. And I'm not going to like wait until 11.59 p.m. No, I would debut it like, I don't know, early that morning. So somebody has, you guys have something to do, you know, like New Year's Eve, you know, some people do some stuff and others don't. But expect it early 2023 or 2022. So the window would be December 25th, 2022 to... I'd say like mid-February 2023. And I know that's like a really, really long wait and we're, we're only in June right now. But actually when this is gonna come out, it's the day before June, I think. Yeah, no, two days before June. So that's a big gap. But you'll get updates on the films, uh, the film, the big one. And then of course, uh, once we have those two shot and ready in 2023, you're probably going to have to wait until 2024 for part three, because I want that to be a very good ending. And I have this like entire vision for it and everything. Uh, filmmaking is a long process and, uh, we only had 11 minutes of actual footage and we spent about I'd say maybe like four or five hours filming and we got 11 minutes of footage out of that one we were we aren't that experienced of actors so we had to uh, become experienced as much as we could two you got to get all these different angles um it's like something like every 10 to 6 seconds or maybe like 30 seconds people I check out maybe it's 15 every 15 seconds if you're just looking at this angle you're going to check out if just it's just me talking like this and you see nothing going on but then if i'm like this and you see moving and whatever you know there's a lot of different things with filming i was making music because i didn't want to get copyright struck i was writing the script and i'm going to do all that for the second first assemble a cast work on that a little bit during summer mostly during the fall and winter but yeah i'm excited for those movies uh to come out uh it's really fun actually making a movie 
it's really fun making a film. It's, it's amazing. Um, but yeah, without further ado now, you'll uh, be viewing literally the, the one of the deepest and most meaningful interviews I've ever had on the podcast or the first on the YouTube actually. And I am interviewing a leader. I'd say she's the best leader in my life that I see on a day to day basis. Um, that I actually personally know. And I'm surrounded by a lot of leaders. But she shows me what real true leadership is, and how to lead in certain situations. So without further ado, enjoy this amazing interview on leadership and church. And wait for those films. All right, so welcome on back um, to any cast. I'm going to classify this under any religion because a lot of the things we're talking about today um, are about like leadership and religion. Um, but yeah, uh, do you want to introduce yourself? Yes, yeah. Um, my name is Rachel, Rachel Parsons. Um, I don't know how to introduce myself. I feel like I would typically introduce myself as like saying I'm a leader at Elevation, um, but I guess that's what I am. I'm a youth coordinator at Elevation, so. Yeah, yeah, Elevation, Valentine, best campus out there. And yeah, I've only been to two, but it is the best, so. All right, guys, welcome on back to AnyCast. And we, well, also, Liam, you got to shout out your show because this is on your show also. Uh, welcome to Random with Liam. Today it will be a Pixar movie tier list with Liam and Peyton. Yeah, so today it's a, the very first podcast collab. Um, I've had guests on in the past, but this is the very first other uh podcaster out there so Liam do you want to tell us a little bit about your podcast and uh what that all is about uh yeah so on my podcast I I talk about uh tier lists of stuff like some horror stories like video games and I'll ju I just talk about everything random and sometimes I will have guests on sometimes not yeah and um, I've listened to all your episodes and together, I think it's an already 60 minutes of content. So that's pretty cool. Like in two days, you got 60 minutes of content out there. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, it's a really cool show. Uh, I remember you texted me last night about your podcast and I listened to it and I shared it with my friends and it was in the candy one. Uh, that was really fun though like as a first yeah. episode yeah um and then the scary stories with disneyland that that was a lot of it i knew but some of it i actually didn't know so it was pretty cool but today yeah, the, the most famous ones on that were the deborah stone and the single writer at i forgot what writer it was space yeah. mountain and space whatever i forgot yeah
Well, you guys, we made it. It is episode 100 of any cast. Thank you for being there for me, um, listening to all the content that I make, whether it's just a podcast or a YouTube video. This is the 100th episode of any cast, one week before the celebration of the one year anniversary, which is really wild to think about. When I started this podcast, I didn't think that I would get 100 episodes in one year. Um, when I started the podcast, I did not even think anybody outside of the United States would listen to this thing. And yet it's reached many different countries, including Germany, the Philippines, the UK, and so many others. Mexico, I think Canada. I'm not sure about Canada, but it's reached a large amount of people. You guys always enjoy my episodes. Some of them you guys enjoy way more than others. And I think you guys will really love this one. I'm honored to bring on my great friend, a great guy who has mentored me for the past year and almost, I don't know, like almost a year and a half now. I don't know. I met him in October of 2021. And this man has been a friend to not only me, but my entire family. He has helped us in many ways. Um, he's just a great guy. So... Without further ado, let's listen to AnyCast, episode 100, with Pastor John Rush. Alrighty, guys. Welcome on back to AnyCast. This is episode 100. Uh, today, we are joined by uh, the greatest COD player on the East Coast. <laughs> um, a great pastor. We are joined by um, Mr. John Rush. The most it's faithful me. Vikings fan out there. <laughs> but, yeah. How are you doing, bro? I'm I am great. I'm excited to finally be on this auspicious podcast, and I'm honored to be on the 100th episode. Yeah, dude. It's, it's wild. Right now, we are in a uh, room at Elevation. It is the 17th year anniversary, and it's been, it's been a day. It's been a really cool day, getting to see everything that our church has done and God's done through it. And today we're going to be talking a little bit about elevation and uh, what John does for a living. Uh, that's great. I'm excited. So, uh, I guess, oh, it's all good. I guess the first question I have for you is, why did you become a pastor? Well, I think I became a pastor initially because I didn't know what else to do after high school. Um, and... At the time, I was really involved in church. I gave my life to Jesus when I was 17, or sorry, when I was 16, my junior year. And church had become a huge part of my life, and I didn't know what was next. Um, I knew I would have hated college. I was thinking about going to the military. I was trying to pursue being an esports athlete, but at the time, there's not a lot of op as much opportunity as there is today. Um, and my youth pastor said, hey, you should come to this ministry school and train to be a pastor. And so took a step of faith and kind of just never stopped. That's wild. So you've always been, I guess, a gamer at heart, which is like a huge thing that you believe in is that we can utilize gaming. You know, you know there's a lot of parents still to this day who are like, gaming is evil. It's ruined my child, which, you know, to a degree that can be true if you're so like kid gets addicted to that but you know if you balance it off and you put limits you know you believe that through gaming we can bring kids to christ we can just have meaningful relationships with them so what is like why do you pursue that so much like the entire esports being a part of um elevation youth Life can be uncertain, life can be joyful, life can be hard, life can be peaceful, life can be all of this and more. Every year there is a tragedy, with that tragedy comes worry, but 
we have to look for hope. I had a dream that started in late 2019 of giving the world a place to escape. It was ignited in 2022. If you have an idea, go for it. What's the worst that can happen? You don't like it? Then you move on. You're not successful? Try harder. Switch it up. I started AnyCast as an escape from the world, a place where people could learn things and be entertained at the same time. As the great Stan Lee once said, If you have an idea that you genuinely think is good, don't let some idiot talk you out of it. And, as Walt Disney famously remarked, During the last few years, we've ventured into a lot of different fields. We've had the opportunity to meet and work with a lot of wonderful people. I only hope that we never lose sight of one thing, that it was all started by a mouse. The journey isn't over yet. We have a long way to go. There are stories to be told. This year I am releasing two more films and a horror anthology series, along with a Christmas special. I'm just getting started, and I believe that you can start your dream now.